Hello? Welcome back. How you doing? I had to fire a few people. So I hope this looks good. Alright? I don't know. Okay, I, maybe it doesn't look 480p. I heard that's the best quality. You shut your goddamn mouth, Steven. Anyway, so we got some messages here. Let's look here. Marcelo Cruz. Uh, famed brother of Penelope Cruz and Tom Cruz. Wonderful. Wants to know, I was wondering if I could talk about what would happen if Michael faced off with Frankenstein's monster. Michael, put that dog down! That is not a treat for you to have in the afternoon snack delights. Stephen, your dog is dead. That's what happens when you bring your puppy to work day. It gets eaten by a stupid asshole with a stupid mask that looks like a mannequin. Now Steven's, he look at, you, you, you know what he did? Look, he put his middle finger in his asshole and he said you smell like poop. So what would happen if this asshole faced off with Frankenstein's monster? It'd be the stare down of the dum-dums of the century. Nobody would move for 25 minutes. It'd be like watching the longest game of somebody trying to solve a Rubik's Cube. That's it. If Michael made a move, Frankenstein whoop his ass. You don't touch, ever. You dirty, disgusting, sausage-fingered, pickle-smelling asshole. You do not touch my agite. Not now, not ever. I thought Dr. Chalice was telling you about this, along with why you shouldn't want to put your dirty, diseased winker in Jason's butthole. Michael's been going through a lot during these quarantine times. No, nope. please, Michael. They need to know. Stop, don't touch. Oh, God, it smells like a diseased Courtney Love. Yeah, you say, your fingers smell like asshole. Listen, if Michael Myers met Frankenstein's monster, one, dumb, dumb, stare down. Don't. Michael, make a move. Try to pull out the bolts from Frankenstein's monster's neck. Frankenstein's monster, turn around, whoop his ass, and say, I got a serial named after me. What you got? Lois Strode's bitch boy. Serial. Thank you for your question. Get a job. Okay, stop worrying about these questions. Get a job. Thank you. I, I, there's nothing on this earth that I want more to happen than a lightning bolt go up your ass and electrocute you from your butthole to your eyeballs. It didn't hit me. It stained your chest. It's not my chest. This is where Michael keeps his bullshit dies. I feel happy. God damn you, Michael! Uh, moving on, we got another message unequally and equally unimportant from, uh, Jamie Blevins. Yes, your name is Jamie Blevins. I don't believe you. I think you lie. I think your name is probably something like uh, Jamie Jones or something like Jamie uh, Ka -ka 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 -ka. It's not Blevins. It sounds like made up. Anyway, you say, well, thank you for all the laughs. I think it's funny that you find me uh, attempting to help people with psychiatric needs funny. <laughs> you have problems. A lot of problems in your asshole. Uh, and I've been thinking about it. What if Loomis covered what Michael's most afraid of or something? Well, what something? What Michael's most afraid of is being forgotten, being left to rot in the hospital. No one writes him letters. No one sends him goldfish. No one lets him watch his unsolved mysteries. Because you know why? Michael's a fart in the night. He should have been. He's a murderer, a serial killer. He tried to kill his sister. He stabbed his other sister's titties off. He hunted down his niece, his nephew, and tried to also kebab their eyeballs. And yet there's pity for him. Hilarious. His biggest fear is that maybe one day he looks in the mirror 
and realize what a sad sack of poopy shit he is. And that he got beat, not once, not twice, not thrice, but four times by a little old girl named Lois Strode. That's right. The big bad Michael Myers that smells like a skunk's asshole in the middle of July got his ass whipped by a little girl named Laurie Strode. And then on top of that, to make it even worse and to rub salt deep in that cut in the blister sores of his herpy mouth, Jamie made him cry like the little bitch boy that he is in what you would call Halloween 5 with his Stephen Fat Seagal ponytail. Michael does this to represent how much IQ he has. Zero! Where did you get that? Get that away! That's a pedophile's glove! Oh my god, it's Jeffrey Dahmer! Yes, kill that! Kill that! Kill that! God, I hope it goes in his asshole, through his mouth, up his eyes, and out his brain. Little there may be. Thank you for your question, get out of my face. I will butt fuck your fucking career from here on out. Well, you're dead. Sean Maria. Maria? Do you own hotels? Your last name is Maria. I feel like you own hotels on the uh, Upper East Side of New York. Where are you gonna go this summer? I was thinking about going to the Sean Maria hotels. No? Well, maybe you, you'll do that one day, I don't know. I think you're lying about your last name. Anyway, I don't trust a lot of people. He asks, what is an inspirational quote that I would tell Michael and why? He also wants to pay, pet that asshole's beard from, we watched the movie, Jay. Um, I'll let you know that beard is fake. Okay, it's, it's literally uh, painted on and there's Velcro involved. Either way, what's an inspirational quote that I would tell Michael? I promise you it won't be anything from Rocky. You don't deserve that shit. Nothing! Apollo Creed would roll over his, oh God, again, with the skunky fingers. That's my, Michael, that's my taint. Get off my taint. I hit Let me tell you what happened. I felt Michael's giblets. They're smaller than I thought. It was like pellets in a cold winter morning. I would tell him this. You get knocked down, but you stay dead. Don't ever get up again. Get knocked down and stay dead. I drink an Asian drink. I drink a cider drink. I drink more Asian drink. I drink some vodka drinks. I drink the songs that remind me of the Asian drink. And I drink the so I drink s I just die. Just die. Die! Uh, so, uh, another useless question. <laughs> Shot, thank you so much. Uh, it's not like there's patients not waiting for me on the other end. You see? I have a full ledger of people that need me to help them and treat them. But you want me to give Michael Myers, one of the worst mass murderers in the world, an inspirational quote. Well, here's one for you. Quit obsessing about an asshole that would kill you in a heartbeat and blow a fart in your mouth and swell your head up like a helium balloon. What are you gonna do on October 31st? What are you gonna do on October 31st? Here comes that white-faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit, wants to stab your sister's tits cause he's a white-faced fucker. Loomis can't recover, Dr. Challenge drunk again, sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you want to know about the darkness? I said, God damn. God damn, you fire. I said, God damn. A lot of people don't know the darkness that goes inside their hearts. I said, God damn. God damn, you Michael. What are you gonna do?
do on October 31st.